Uh, let me just read that out for you. Hawks are decisive, tough, and simultaneously showy and precise in their actions. They are also obsessive hunters who strike without warning. And uh, Sasha's main role in the unit is going to be that of a navigator. Like, she has taken that upon herself um, to be... Well, well navigating pilots and uh, all of that are assigned by their by the unit leader I know that's what I'm saying that's what she's good at so you're hoping that your <laughs> unit leader agrees to do whatever you've chosen Pretty let's much, talk yeah. about what your playbook and your role is okay so um, so my role uh, my, my playbook is Hawk as I mentioned before um, and my my role will be the misanthrope uh, <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Um, so, basically, uh, I can scourge, uh, scourge, scourge, scrounge, scrounge. Yeah. Yeah. Australian, right? Uh, you can scrounge well, and when you change duty stations, advance if you bucked against the boys' club. So I will be making a lot of trouble for myself and for the uh, the five eighty eights as a whole. Um, but having said that, I will be really good at getting things that we've missed and also adding to the mission pool. Um, so that's sort of what I've sort of taken on as my role. Uh, for example, if it ever comes up that we're missing fuel or missing ammunition or something along those lines, it will be, I will take it upon myself to go and get that. And that normally means in any way, shape or form. And I'll leave that sort of floating in your mind as what that could actually mean. Um, I, I just want to say this because they don't state it outright. But mm. what being an excellent scrounger and an excellent repairer are is you get a plus one to duty. Or yeah. Some other special effect. Oh, they do? I believe oh, so. No, no. Uh, no, it just so removes a negative when you fail. It doesn't well, make okay. you better at it. Yeah, you right. only have to pick. Yeah, there's different one. effects. For my leadership yeah. thing... If I successfully complete an air task, like Wayfind, everyone after me who... I'm sorry, uh, attack run. Everyone who does after me gets a plus one. Oh, okay. Um, so my stat like block is um, similar to um, Tyler's. It is uh, two luck, uh, zero skill, and negative one guts. Luck. So I don't think you're going to be a good la navigator if you're just lucky. <laughs> No, there's a lot of actual skills like avoiding fire and whatnot that actually are based on luck. Uh, yeah, but I think the actual navigator role is skill. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Okay, whatever. Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna do the hawk description real quick because we're getting things a little jumbled. But sure. I already uh, said that, but <laughs> okay. Did you go through hawks are decisive and tough, showy? Yeah, he did. Okay. All right. Sorry, I'm also writing a lot of stuff down and dealing with chat. As I'm sure those who are watching live know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dealing with. Um, right. Did we talk about misanthrope? We did, yeah. All right, excellent. Then let's talk to Thor. Thor, who are you? Uh, start. I am the person who's starting to feel slightly uh, worried about uh, <laughs> total lack of skill. Uh, I'm sure we'll get through somehow. I am... Uh, Ilyana Zerkova, a raven. Mm. Yeah. Let's talk about um, ravens. Do you have the raven description? Yes, Excellent. I do here somewhere. Hang on. I can read it real quick. Thank you. Uh, ravens are intelligent, curious, acquisition, ac acquisitive? Is that really a word? Acquisitive, yeah. yeah. Acquisitive. I, I would have thought inquisitive, but yeah, acquisitive and confident. Unlike sparrows, they aren't afraid to make a scene. They are also carrying birds with a stubborn disregard for property. Yeah, that can happen at times. And the character I, I'm playing is, is wanted to be a pilot her, her entire life. Comes, uh... Well, yeah. So what... How much... What what are we gonna do now? Stat blocks and then uh, go over to we, sort of. We need your role, care. right? So we got Raven. Well, and yeah, I am the ad I am an adventurer. Yeah, there uh, we go. There we uh, go. Finally, good. Yeah. We, need yeah. we need one. We need one. Yes. 
person who's wanted to be a pilot her entire life. Not terribly good at it, but um, we'll get we'll get around <laughs> so to I that. I also dumped skill. <laughs> <laughs> I just have a plus zero to skill. But, yeah, you know, plus zero is a fine. Yeah, fine. I I do have minus one to uh, guts, however, but I do have plus two to luck. Oh, you're in the same boat as me. Right. Yeah. Gonna, so I heard but, plus uh, two luck, minus one, what was that? Guts. Guts. And zero luck? And zero, zero skill. skill. Zero skill. I zero will, skill. however, be, I am going to be aiming for that uh, raven move that lets me use luck on a particular oh, move yeah. uh, to, to make me a little bit better of a pilot. And... At least until then, I'm hoping my luck will make me survive. Mm, yeah. So that that's also interesting because the um the way well actually no I won't mention it because it'll come up eventually. Come up. All right. So the playbooks we pick from don't change until nope. we're dead, but your roles change every time you advance to your station. So basically, every time we start a new adventure. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and show the Sparrow book just to give the audience kind of an idea what it looks like. It's probably a little small there, but uh, it's got everything you need right there on it. Mm -hmm. You can also get the complete handouts yeah, to follow along too. Yeah, bullypulpitgames.com. Look for yeah. Night Witch's handouts all on Google. And uh, if you happen to live in Iceland, I can order one for you then. <laughs> Also happen to have one in the store, which nobody's picking up, and I'm currently reading until they do. Okay, so we are going to start then. We have arrived at Saratov, a city at war. The darkened streets are filled with soldiers, but we are still civilians in our best clothes. If you have your uh, Red Army Choir ready, this is the time to start playing it. Patriotic marches in celebration of the 24th anniversary of the founding of the Red Army and impassioned speeches by Comrade Stalin and Air Marshal Zhukov fill the air. The day is not far distant when the Red Army will thrust back the brutal enemy and the Red Banners will fly again victoriously over all Soviet land. With the Red Army Air Force transit voucher in your hand, we board a ferry across the Volga with a hundred other hopeful, enthusiastic, and confused young men and women. One woman in the crowd stands out, dressed in splendid uniform with sky-blue shoulder boards and a medal pinned to her chest. We haven't yet learned to know either her rank or what the medal signifies, but among the crowd you know that everyone wants to be just like her. She singles out uh, one of you and approaches... Sergeant Tatiana Petrovna. <clears throat> and she says, <clears throat> I'm Captain Evgena Lobodeva of the 588th Night Bomber Regiment. Sergeant, who are you? Sir, I am Sergeant Tatiana Petrovna. Sir. You're not in uniform. What is it I see you wearing there? I, they did not issue me a uniform before I left my homeland. I am in uh, the clothes that my grandfather gave me to go fight the Germans. Oh, you're, you're someone's granddaughter, huh? Come here to fight the Germans. I wish to do my duty to the boss. Hmm. What sort of shoes is it I see you wearing? My shoes? Your I, shoes? I, uh, they were my mother's. She sent me with them. She said I need a good pair of shoes to walk home at the end of the war. Oh, that's good. By the end of the war, you will have gone through many shoes, I think. That is probably very true. Well, we're <laughs> glad to have competent new recruits here. We'll be flying <laughs> outmoded uh, and outmodeled biplanes under the cover of darkness in all weather conditions. She kind of taps your shoes with her foot and says, You'll be glad to have some Russian army boots with you shortly. <clears throat> the 588th is one of three regiments being formed by Major Marina Raskova, the famous air hero. We focus on night harassment and will do difficult, dangerous work. Do you think you're up to it? I am ready to do my duty. That's a good answer, Sergeant. The war situation is bad. Even Comrade Stalin says as much. Our winter has stopped the fascists 50 miles from Moscow, but the spring muds have blunted our counteroffensive. Things now are very uncertain. Personally, I aim to change that. How about you, Sergeant? I'll do my duty to turn the tide against uh, Mother Russia. Mm. 
Step lively. Obey your section leader and squadron commander and you'll get your chance to kick the Hitlerite bandits right in the balls. They would not know anything about that, but I will do my duty. All right. The ferry bumps up against the dock at angles and suddenly everyone is all business. They're shouting, pushing, rolling, and equipment is being pulled off. It's time for you to get moving. Across the Volga, Engels Aerodrome is still four kilometers away. While a truck is waiting for Captain Lobodeva and the other soldiers in uniform, the rest of you are told to walk. Hopefully, you wore sensible shoes. The skies overhead are filled with airplanes. Sleek, new PE-2 bombers shining in the sunlight. Stubby, aggressive-looking Yak-1 fighter planes. And the plodding old PO-2 biplanes. These look ridiculously out of date, and their tiny engines sound for all the world like sewing machines. As you near the aerodrome, foot sore and hungry, you see for the first time how massive and busy it really is. There are hundreds of planes here, and hordes of Soviet aviators, many of them women. <clears throat> so, now is the first part of where we all begin interacting. Uh, this is going to happen every time we switch a duty station. And I've put it here in the background so that we can talk about it. Uh, this is our airbase layout and our questions. Uh, depending on how you answer the questions, different threats will show up. For those that have read the GM section, you, you know that you generate the threats dynamically based on what we're facing. So, uh, Engels Aerodrome is a major center for flight training, buzzing at all hours with fighter, bomber, and transport crews learning to handle their aircraft. Many begin earning their wings in the front seat of a PO2. Support <laughs> is ubiquitous and abundant. You gain plus one for scrounge and repairs at the well-equipped Engels Aerodrome. Isn't that nice? Mm, so, yeah. now, a question for all of you to answer. Which officer trainee arrived already homesick? Is it, uh, it have to be a play character, or nope. can it be... You can just make somebody up. Oh, cool. Uh, hmm. Hmm. I kind of feel like Tatiana would already be homesick. Oh, really? If I'm being honest. Uh, like, but you're yeah, not an officer shoot. candidate, right? Oh, you're, I'm not an officer sergeant. candidate. You're right. I'm a sergeant. Never mind. Do we, do we each pick one, or you, do we, we need to... talk about it together. Okay. I can answer um, if I want to, but I figured since I've been talking for so long... That's true. Do we just come up with a name? That's pretty much it? Yeah. All right, hmm. Bedney really... something. <laughs> How, what was the name? Did I hear Bed... Bertie Hallett's daughter? <laughs> <laughs> Bedney. Bedney. I don't know how you... Okay, yeah. tell me more about Bedney. Uh, you know Bedney about is very young, um, oh. I guess. Uh, sense. But we're under 20 here, I'm guessing. Oh, um, some of the ladies here are going to be 16 or younger. All right then. Well, I if she's oh, if she's candidate for you know leadership or whatever, then she would probably be a little older in my eyes. But um, not necessarily. She could have connections. Yeah. She could be mm. someone's daughter, someone's niece. Okay. Well, let's say that um, she is fresh off the boat, uh, is fresh out of training for whatever training that is. I know nothing about the army, guys. Okay. Um, yeah. she's and out uh, of officer school. Yeah, officer school, yep. Yeah. And, uh, you know, she's just been put in a place that she's never been in before that's bigger than her, and she's having trouble coping. Okay. A lot Which, of responsibility on her, you know. That kind of, she, okay, lots of responsibility. Lots of responsibility for a young woman who's somebody's niece, and that's why yeah. she's an officer. Yep. She, she came know. here thinking uh, the day before she was thinking about boys, and now she's... Thinking about biplanes. Okay. All right. Which one of you has caught the eye of Major Maria Raskova, themed female air pilot, and what reason? And this has to be one of the players. Mm. Well, who's the most skillful here? I feel like that would I be the most skillful one. I think Tatiana is the most skillful at this point. I don't, I don't mean, like, by stats. I Everyone mean, has okay. zero skill. <laughs> Uh, no, no, no. Zero Tatiana has two skills. Yeah, you've yeah. got the experience and the, the backup. Well, yeah. I, I think that's appropriate then. I've got no spine, though, according to my stat block. So. Okay, interesting. <laughs> you have to have spine to see the major? He's looking for talent. 
Well, the other, thi- the other thing, well, I mean, like, it doesn't necessarily have to be caught her eye, right? I mean, like, my character is very sort of rebellious in a way. It so literally that says so- which one of you has caught the eye. <laughs> <laughs> fair it enough. doesn't have to be positive, of course. That's- oh, yeah, fair enough. I'm saying, like, yeah. mine, could be, mine could be particularly negative, uh, depending on, like, how rowdy she's been so far. So, it doesn't that. That. so do we have a final vote here? Because it sounds like Thor, you're the tiebreaker. Uh well, all on you. Hmm. I was saying skillful in terms of like actual yeah. skill block, but I think um, in terms of who would catch the eye in a negative manner, I think yeah. our resident misanthrope would be. Uh, oh, okay. If it's a negative, de- de- definitely. Uh, I'd also. Uh, I was gonna throw out actually before you started talking, me as as. Uh, <laughs> like everyone votes for themselves. <laughs> yeah, everyone was like, as obviously bit. I've caught the attention. No, of this look, I'm 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 as definitely in with Tyler's character, getting yeah. uh, the so eye. Tyler's behind you. Positive. You're behind Tyler, and Thor's behind himself. <laughs> yeah, that's that's gonna be a little bit difficult. No, I'm gonna be I'm gonna. Uh, I'm going to be behind one of you guys. Uh, <laughs> we'll make but, that choice. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm I, gonna say I think I've already said that I'm, I'm behind... Uh, Everyone's a winner here, guys. But Dave's behind you, Tyler. Oh, he is? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Dave, you're behind for... Dave. Dave's yeah. behind you. Oh, fuck yeah. it. I'm behind myself now. All fuck right. it. All right. There we go. Done. Okay. We're, 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 going with, we're going with Dave, and Ileana is, is, is upset about that because oh. the major is, is her hero, basically. Oh, okay. Interesting. Oh, that's you interesting. a little bit of something extra. Uh, what was it you did exactly that caught her eye? Uh, pff, I don't know. Shut up, drunk. Oh, shit. <laughs> Which is an impressive feat because it's a really long train ride to get over here. <laughs> you guys you must have just... <laughs> How are you dealing with the minor sabotage of your planes by chauvinist male ground crews? I mean, they, uh-huh. yeah, especially you, Tatiana. The, Tatiana. The have been showing up. Flirting with your air crews, and then, you know, uh, oil goes missing, a propeller. Tatiana is uh, probably the first thing Tatiana would do upon reaching the base is find the planes that they're going to be flying and begin giving them a once-over. She actually has some amount of experience repairing specifically old planes, um, which may come into play with one of her Sparrow uh, advancements uh so she's actually doing like actual inspections and um sorry guys there's like a mosquito buzzing in front of me it's kill it i know i'm trying to (laughs) obviously you need to use mind bullets i know um so so tatiana is is immediately doing the inspection and since she is so plain and simple looking um does not look attractive at all in her own uniform fairly certain no one's hitting on her or at least no one seriously is hitting on her um (laughs) so we ourselves shit. <laughs> I don't know if you guys heard that. It was a massive crack of thunder. Anyway, um, so she is, uh, she is giving the planes a once-over and, um, and trying to figure out, uh, are they ready to fly? And if not, she's getting to work. So that brings me back to the question which I actually asked. Was, oh, sorry. How are you dealing with the sabotage <laughs> of the planes by male ground crews? Although oh. it was interesting to hear that you immediately marched in and basically took command of the, the armory bay. I don't know if it take command, but started to ins- inspect the okay. plane. Yeah, um, like the how how do did. I deal with the actual... Yeah. Um, they she's... show up, they talk to your female crew members, you know, maybe they waggle their hips around, showing off their Ds, and then some propellers go missing. So, propellers, um, that's yeah. a little bit more difficult to replace. Yeah. Uh, I kind of feel like at this point in her character story, she would not be overt and loud about it she would kind of take it um and figure out what she can do with the materials at hand to do the repairs that she needs if there's anything critically missing then she would probably seek out (laughs) 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 it's just minor Uh, minor sabotage (laughs) seeking out uh seeking out her her commanding officer and asking if there's anything they can do to replace the propellers that are now missing on their biplanes maybe a wing or two all right (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> this, this, is missing an entire plane. <laughs> this is no longer a biplane. It is just a plane. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> interesting. Interesting. All right. So, Engels Aerodrome actually exists. I'm going to list off a string of coordinates, which will only mean anything if you want to throw them in your um, Google Maps. In your Google Maps. 
Those are 51.47 and 46.20, Zengel's Aerodrome uh, and Saratova. But we are going to make our own Engels Air Base. And so I would like each of you to pick a color, possibly the color that you have on roll 20. Yep. And okay. we're going to draw Sounds stuff. Good. So figure out who's going to draw what, but we're going to need to draw the following things. Uh, where is the aerodrome? Where are the barracks, the flight line, the hangars, the classroom, supply depot, command building, and control tower? Exercise uh, yard, secluded spot where you can look over the river. All right. Yeah. I think the, the command the tower should be, like, over here, maybe. I don't know. Huh. Huh. I'm drawing and, uh I think the the running space, maybe. The exercise yard? Yeah, like over the side. Okay. Um, and then, like, I don't know, you would have, like, the hangers, like, next to the runway, I guess, sort of thing. How many hangers do we need? How many barracks do How we need? I, I'm gonna draw some barracks over here. Maybe they're, they're probably... really big barracks. I don't know. Yeah. You put as many as you'd like to have. I think they'd be one barrack and everyone shares a bed. It's really Not weird. Not quite. <laughs> <laughs> you just each one get, giant... So the way it works is you each get your own cot, and the barracks have windows, but they're all covered, so you can sleep during the daytime. Because you're a night bomber regiment, and you fly almost every night. Yeah. Uh, so, what is this other big blue thing here? Uh, that's the hangers. Uh, hangers, okay. Well, it makes sense that the hangers would be so close to the airway. Yeah. Why is the tower behind the hangers? <laughs> I don't know. What is, what is the tower used for? <laughs> it's the aircraft control tower. And apparently whoever painted this runway was drunk. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've already established that at least one of you is drunk. So. I'm going to draw the lines. <laughs> <laughs> now we know why Major Marikova is mad at you. <laughs> <laughs> You've literally drawn the, the lines leading into like the, ba <laughs> the base barracks. <laughs> um, I say you, I mean me, but yes. This is where the hangar goes. <laughs> Uh, Drawing straight lines on roll twenty is hard. Just copy paste a bunch of them. Yeah. Oh, that's um. Just, you know what? I give up. There we go. All right, we've, we've got a good one. <laughs> yeah, that's the that's the training line right there. Uh, supply depot. I imagine that would be around where the hangar is, right? So. Yeah, be behind that, close to the tower, maybe like. The uh, tower's moved now. It's over there. <laughs> I moved it. Oh, that's good. That's probably a better place yeah um let's see constructed by the trainees <laughs> in the dirt <laughs> of course. uh i don't know supply depot i imagine would be here and then there'd be like a some let's sort see. of road between the two okay it's supposed no. to be a secluded spot by the volga how close is the volga the volga is northwest and a Engels Aerodrome is directly on the Volga. What is what is a Volga again? It's a river. A river. Russia. Oh, okay. Oh, I gotcha. gotcha. Pretty major river. Yeah. Uh, I'd so imagine it'd be like at the end of the like it would go like the the river would be like. So I like runways would be like facing. So the somewhere river. between the runway and the barracks, then. Yeah. Supply depot. Is that where they keep things like bombs? Yes. The armory. Okay. Maybe we shouldn't put that next to the hangar. Uh, where else would you put it? Like, yeah, like probably at the very least, off by itself somewhere. So I just want to point out, not so, that that's yeah. a bad idea, but you have to get the bombs onto the aircraft in the hangar. Uh, that's gonna be a yeah. major hassle if that's that, true. If they're not close. I'm not entirely if you, if you sure. You have <laughs> Russia, Soviet Russia. This is this is actually in Russia. Most of the missions will not be. If you want to have in Soviet Russia that they keep the supply depot very far away to haze the trainees and keep them <laughs> super safe, that's fine. I yeah. But remember, you're you're basically your squad's armorer, right? You're the repair person, so you're the one who has to walk there and back again to get the bombs. I'm pretty sure they're not going to ask me to carry the two thousand pound bombs on my back. Well, you right? probably you know you gotta <laughs> like... you gotta drive the truck. All right, the supply depot is right there. 
Okay. Let, oh, no, 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 no. let's not put it right at the end of a runway. <laughs> <laughs> Bad landing zoom. <laughs> Yeah. Right. So well, it's incentive stick. not to have bad landings. That's fair. There we go. But... Do, uh, right, yep. Supply depot right there. No <laughs> problems. <laughs> Where are the classrooms? Uh, classrooms should be close to the barracks, like, uh, you know, here-ish. I kind of feel like the classrooms would be on the other side of the runway. If you wake up late, drunk, over, hungover, you've got to, like, bolt across the runway as planes are coming down. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it makes That's sense. I mean, like, maybe, like, over here in this section here, yeah. like, in the next to the yard or whatever. I mean, so, in, so in, instead of making it easy, we want, we want to make it sure, want to make it hard for people to wake up drunk and have to run up and cross the runway. Okay. Like, like, like a up, hazing ritual. Like, you if know. you wake yeah. up early, you can, you can get on the back of a rover and go across, like, with all the smart people. But if uh, you're late, you have to leg it like a yeah. dumb person. Okay, yeah. So everyone's okay. good with this setup. Yeah. Sure. It's just a big empty area. I hate big empty areas. We've got to put something there. It's the spot. Uh, the spot's right here. Yeah. Here's where we watch. What's the but... spot again? That's the spot where you can look out over the bustling city of Saratov. There's got to be something oh. here. It's, it's a waste of space, man. Oh, More supply oh. depots, man. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. More bombs. It's more definitely. bombs. Just put pylons <laughs> if there. If we add more <laughs> supply depots, do we get more ammunition? Is that how it works, Arthur? Well, All right. uh, you can mail, build more pylons or maybe some overlords. But uh, what uh, We need the office space, right? In Thank all you. fairness, the hangar would probably extend the entire length of the runway. Yeah, sure. Yeah. What unusual feature makes the auxiliary field at Tambov so difficult to fly out of? There's a river at the end of it. There's a river here. What makes it so difficult there? There's a classroom at the end of it. No, no. This is the at Tambov. It's like a couple miles away. Oh, okay. So, okay. like, if there was a problem on the runway, they would send you to Tambov. What's so difficult about Tambov? Uh, pronouncing it. Uh, really? Your pronunciation <laughs> of Tambov makes it hard to get off the ground. Are there any, like, geological features? No. Nearby? Oh, like, oh, maybe, oh, tell um, me. Are I there? Thought... Well, I don't, well, I mean, I don't know. If I guess uh, we don't have this is legitimate Russia, so... What well, I guess if it was, like, that... up next to a mountain, you'd get, like, wind okay. shears and whatnot. So maybe would... there's a mountain there. No. Oh. Okay. Okay. Nearby mountain. They're, like, nestled just in make some a mountain. Place. What? What's the yeah, mountain like... called? What's that? Shit Hill. We'll call it Shit Hill. What's Shit Hill it's in Russia? It's called <laughs> Shit Hill. <laughs> that's I assume it's, it's not called actually it. called Shit Hill, but, no, but that's, that's what the trainees call it, because they don't want to land there. Yeah. Shit hill. You, gotta, and you gotta come in hard at Shit Hill. It's like, God fucking. No! I don't wanna fight <laughs> at Shit Hill! Shit! Alright. I thought you were actually yelling at someone off screen just now. <laughs> I was like, no. <laughs> you guys ready to move to the next part? Yeah. Right. Sure. sure. I think our, our little bunk is pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. You made it. It's all gonna get bombed soon, I'm pretty sure. It's in the middle of Russia. <laughs> there was hard World times in 1942. Man, I know they get far into Russia, but they don't get this far into Russia. <laughs> no one gets this far into Russia. All right. Not even Russians. When we reach the main gate of Engels Aerodrome, the Fourth Arm Air Army Military Policeman reviews your papers and tells you to report to Sergeant Kateva in the Logistics <laughs> Area Six, and requests that you get, bring the following items: one service uniform. One set of flight boots, one reeks rations, and a direction book to the 588th training barracks. Repeat the list. Go ahead. Tell me right now. Let's Service hear it. uniform. Um, boots. Like, I was, boots. Direction book. Uh, flight boots, one week rations, and whatever that last one was. So Direction uh, book to the uh, training facility for the 588th. The military policeman is looking each of you over, and then he uh, looks over Sergeant Sokolov and says, I might need your number. What? Why do you need my number again? He's like, yes, yes. And he turns to his buddy, he's like, yes, she will do fine. <laughs> Are okay. you still drunk, by the way? I yes. Apparently, he's <laughs> still playing it that way. After some fumbling around in vague directions from harried, impatient mechanics, you find Sergeant Kateva. Uh, and 
Let's see here. <clears throat> she is screaming with a private. And when she's done, she comes over to speak to Sergeant Ilyana Zarkova. So she's short, very muscular, has her sleeves roll 